Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to another Victory Group. We are so glad you're with us. We are coming to you live from our new sanctuary. It's still new to us, <laughs> and so we're glad that you're with us. To all of our visitors, if you don't know who we are, I'm Pastor John, and who are you, lovely woman? I am Pastor Aisha. And we're the pastors of this great church, Victory in Christ Christian Center, so we welcome you. Welcome. This is your first time in the group, and if you're a partner at your first time, we are excited that you are stepping out into getting connected to mm. a group that's going to do your body good. Yes, it will. All right, let's dive in. We've been talking about this series of walking in the love of God. Mm. God told us to do this series, and now, seven weeks into it, it's been really life-changing. Who would have thought that you'd be on a message or a series that God had never even intended you to be on so far for yeah, seven weeks? for seven already. weeks. For seven weeks, but it has it was needed. Yes, oh I my mean, it's gosh, been, and it's still needed in how it's affecting our church family. Mm. I mean, it is. Um, it, you know, when God when when God tells you to do something, you do it. It's amazing the mm. results you get. Yes. And um, I I'll be willing to say that whoever's watching this and you've been hearing these messages, <laughs> it has really challenged you, and that's a great thing. It, so, it was exactly what we needed for where we are right yeah. now for where God wants to take yeah. each and every one of us. I know that without a shadow of yeah. a doubt. Yeah, so um, we're talking about walking in love of God, mm -hmm. keeping ourselves full of the love of God, which is really keeping ourselves full of God because Amen. the scripture says God is love, love and love is God. So it's it's keeping ourselves full of him, and we do that via spending time with him. Amen. But as we, have, we all individually pursue our own love walk, our walking with God, our relationship with God, it helps us to stay full of him and his love. And so we said on this whole love teaching, one of the things that we had to do, it, really the main thing, is renew our mind. Mm -hmm. We had to renew our thinking because the Bible says, as a man mm -hmm. thinks in his heart, his mind, his soul, his will, his intellect, so is he. And that when, you know, changing your mind changes how you act. That's so it changes true. your perception on things. And, you know, when, you, when your mindset changes, and one of the things we said just recently in service is when your mindset changes, one of the indicators it changes is you look at old things differently. Mm-hmm old temptations, yes. old situations, and how you used to react, you don't react anymore. <laughs> that's so you true. respond yeah. now differently. And yes. so that's an indicator your mindset's changing. So if you're, if you're still acting the same way, if you're still you know, responding the same way, then it shows your mind has set, hasn't changed. And God will let that happen yes. to show you where you are. Here you are, you think you're walking in the love of God, and he'll mm. let hell break out to see, you know, get you to see how you're acting or responding. To see where you are, where the, yeah. the love indicator is in your life. And I remember, I love that you said that the, many of us, we can't even realize where we are in our love walk until all hell breaks yeah. out. And yeah. then we wonder why all hell is breaking out, because we need to recognize where we really are in God, because many of us aren't where we thought that we were. And until all hell breaks out, then we realize where we still have yet to grow in God. Yeah, yeah, so renewing our mind is vitally important. And then we got into that um, once you renew your mind, we talked about you had to establish or have this environment that was conducive for change, mm. creating an environment that was conducive for change. In other words, you need to analyze who's around you, what's around you, what you're exposing yourself to, and make sure all of it's conducive for change. If your environment's not conducive for change, then even though you might be trying to change, you have a lot of things fighting against you, mm. and you got to change that. You have people in your life you need to possibly not be around anymore. Other people you need to be around. So mm -hmm. you gotta go after making sure the environment around you that you've set up is conducive for change. And embrace it and don't resist it. Yeah, That's yeah. So, important. so then we, you know, we then after that, we spent some time talking about now, you gotta have this never go back mentality. Mm -hmm. That, you know, once you, you're going after walking in the love of God, you're renewing your mind on it, you, you make sure the environment around you is conducive for that change of, of increasing the love of God in your life, you now have to have this never go back mentality because m many times where we came from, we're more comfortable in. That when God brings us into a new season, a new place, we're more, com you know, we're not comfortable in that and we're comfortable in the old place. So, you know, it's uncomfortable for us to bite our tongue. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uncomfortable because we're used to telling people off and we're more comfortable <laughs> telling people off, just giving them a piece of our mind. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta have this, I'm never going back mentality. Amen. 
where I was was outside of the will of God for my life. Dog tenacity. Yeah, you know, being mean and not having compassion, mm. you know, not having this mindset of love was not God's best for my life. Yes. And many times what God's best is for my life, I'm not comfortable in. So you got to have this never go back mentality. And, um, you know, we said that to really have that, that never go back mentality, you have to have a desire for change. Yes. You got to embrace change, have a desire for change. Mm -hmm. You know, what you, de what you desire, you take immediate action on. Yes. You yes. know, when you really desire something, you take action on it. Until you really desire something, you won't have consistent change. Mm -hmm. You might have temporary change, inconsistent change, but when you get desire for something, you go after it you and you change it. it. And there's, happen. there's, yeah. yeah, there's immediate action you take. And we talked about that in this whole love walk that, you know, one of the things that you had to do, if you're really going to not go back, is you have to work on your character. Mm. You had to take immediate action steps on your character. And we gave a definition for character. It was the mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual. Mm. The mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual. So we said character is really tied to your thinking. It's really tied to how you think. If mm -hmm. you think immoral, then you're going to have immoral character. Mm -hmm. If you think, you know, if you have an upright thinking and doing things in a righteous way, then you're going to have a righteous character, a good, char you, know, you know, character. And so we, we have to work on our character. We, we can only go as far as our character will let us go. Yeah, and I loved what you said, you know, you said that some of us need to get rid of some of the characters yeah, that are in our life good. before yeah. we can actually yeah. work on our own personal yeah. character. Yeah, we got these characters. <laughs> in our lives that is hurting our character mm -hmm. and we need to get rid of some of these characters in our lives because you again you can only go as far as